Day 38 of that. Day 38. What's happening guys, so it is episode 2 of the Road to 230 Kilos, so we're back in the warehouse, it is events day, so Big Tom is joining on this journey to pressing a big heavy log because we've just found out that's also going to be at Arnold's, um, there's going to be a heavy log for reps, so that'll be the first step in the journey for me to get 230, and Tom is looking to do as well as he can a log as well, so he's going to be a huge part of this, so hope you guys enjoy the road to 230 kilos. I've seen him hit 230 in training. Um, he's missed it, you know, once before, but he's more than capable of doing it. I think last time he tried it, you know, he put a lot of pressure on himself. But I think this year he just has to go with the flow, keep training hard, and it will come. I think he gets a chance to do it at Glasgow uh, Giants Live. So, what better place to do it? Glasgow, Scotland, you know, and the Scottish crowd is mental, so it's going to be good. But yeah, I think he'll do the 230, and always confident in him and in anything he'll do. So. What would you say is the biggest lesson you've learned from training with Luke when it comes to the log lift or pressing in general? Yeah, it's more just to kind of take time from, say from the log press, take time from you know the A part of the movement to the B part. I used to do it from the floor, then get to my lap and then go straight up. And then as soon as it was on my chest, press because I felt so heavy. And I never used to like take the rest on the lap, take the rest on the chest. But Luke kind of told me to break it down, you know, and that really helped me, you know, go from the floor to the lap, position myself, get all the hip drive in, and then get it as high up onto my chest as I can. And then he taught me to take a breath, breathe in, short dip down, keep the elbows high and press. Whereas, like I said, I used to just go A, B, ah, oh, damn, it's, it's hard here, and you just press as quickly as I could. So once I started learning that, it was so much easier, because then when I went on to like the barbell pressing, all you're doing with barbell pressing is pressing from here. So I knew I had to take it out, pause, take a breath and press. It's basically, a barbell is the exact same as a log, you're only doing basically half the movement. So once I started learning that kind of way to press, it was just a kind of much more efficient log press. So that's the biggest kind of tip I've got from him, is to just slow the log press down, you know, to, to be efficient with the pressing as well. Uh, we're doing five at 130, three at 140, and one at 150. Uh, so five, three, one, basically. I'm struggling, I've got a little cough. Healthy.
Yeah, I think it'll be cool. I don't think we've done heavy reps for a long time in a competition, so and you know the options will be like I don't know what the official weights are, but I think before it was like 175 and 200, so around that figure. So I think a lot of the guys that are competing at Arnold's will be able to do that. So really exciting to see what we can what we can do when we're all at that level. So be exciting. It does really put me up there down, really. Um, Tom and I, when we're training log, we do rep stuff anyway, so reps is always part of our training. Um, I just throw in a little bit heavier um, after we do reps, so you would have seen like the training for Worlds the last couple of years. We still did rep stuff, but then we still did singles as well, so um, it makes no difference to me what, what we do with the log. Yeah, for me, I'm the best at log in the world, so and give me reps, give me Marks, you'll see at World's Strongest Man, I got the most reps and that log. Um, I've won every Max log for the last little while, so I'm confident in my ability in log. So throw whatever you want at me and I'll do it. Come on, you f. Come on. Steps. Three. Easy three. I can hang these plates from my nipples. Yeah. Let me twist away. One more. One and done. You want to see a super fast one, Gubs? Yeah. Just looking, I think it's looking up as well. So bright. Last week we were metal on it. The third one was this, right? So it takes a minute to eat your balance of it. Super fast 150 coming up. Get this in a uh, time lapse. <laughs> or whatever. It just cuts it. <laughs> <laughs> One fast 150 as well. Yeah, one 150 I can only pee. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Much better, boy. Luke, good luck from your big wee brother, Tom. Stay spicy. Guys, so today I'm gonna to walk you through the wall press. Hey guys, this is week one of the Atlas Stone tutorial by Tom Stoneman. Right guys, today's tutorial is 